Welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So, so far we have seen uh, the importance of footprinting and reconnaissance and I have shown you several different tools as to how you can go ahead and gather information but every time uh, you need to go ahead and download stuff and just to be uh, sure that in case you are a malicious hacker and if you're trying to gather information and you're uh, searching these tools via Google and gathering information, then you need to know that even Google keeps a record of your search. So next time if you're trying to do something wrong and Google will always have a trace on you and they can easily follow your footsteps, which email ID you're using, uh, which IP address have been used to, from your ID to access it and what all can be done. So the best approach would be to use a different browser and uh, different rather, rather than Chrome, I would prefer Mozilla or the best one that we have over here. The default is iSwizzle in Cal Linux, but there is one more secure browser which is uh, known as uh, Tor browser. But I would not recommend downloading any thing through that because it would again go ahead and wave off your uh, anonymity. So, but still there are different ways. I won't be disclosing each and every one of them, but there are ways as to how you can go ahead and anonymously download stuff uh, so that your, uh, your paths could not be traced and you can be anonymous. So assuming that you have all the tools, but still there are some of the other point that all the tools may not work on one operating system. Let's say if you're using the Ubuntu, then uh, you may have problems downloading the RPM package or the latest update may not be available if you are using Windows then uh, it's quite it's more or less uh, I'm sure that you won't have all the tools available on Windows because uh, hacking is not actually used when you're using Windows uh, hacking cannot be done only by using a printing system like Windows you need an open source system like Linux even Ma I can prefer Mac but with Windows nah no it's a total no so but uh, uh, why do we have to go through Macs uh, or operating system like uh, uh, Windows when we have our own Kali Linux and we have all those tools such as Whois or the Harvester or uh, any related DNS queries that we want. I can straight away go ahead and gather this information through my only uh, web uh, only operating system that is Kali Linux. So yes. So I would be showing you today all those things that we could do through Kali Linux and we don't even have to download a single tool uh, from the web and there is no question of anyone tracing you at all. So the information gathering steps of footprinting and scanning are the most important before hacking. Good information gathering can make the difference between a successful penetration testing uh, and uh, one that has failed to provide maximum benefit to a client. We can say that information is a weapon. A successful penetration, a penetration testing and a hacking process needs a lot of relevant information and that is why information gathering or the so-called footprinting is the first step of hacking and it is the most important because if you have correct information then you can do anything you want if you have wrong information then you may you may not be able to hack the right party or you may even go ahead and just expose yourself to everyone that you have all this information so gathering valid login names and emails are the most important part of penetration testing so there is a tool in cal linux that is known as the harvester I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. Or right, then here I'll just go ahead and start the harvester directly. Yep. So the harvester has been developed in uh, Python. It's been written in Python by Christian uh, Matorella. And if you don't know Python, then you surely need to go ahead and learn. Although the, just using this tool does not require your knowledge of Python, but still Python is a good programming language. That's why. And it is a tool which provides uh, the harvester is a tool which provides us information about the email accounts, usernames, hostnames, subdomains from dip different public sources like search engines and PGP key server. This tool is designed to help penetration tester on the on an earlier stage. It is an effective, simple, and quite easy to use uh, uh, tool. The sources supported are Google, their, their emails, subdomains, hostname, Google profiles such as employee names, Bing search, PGP servers, LinkedIn, Exalid, um, and the new features would include time delay between requests, XML uh, results rip export, searching a domain in all sources, and virtual host verifier. So. If you're using Cal Linux, you can just go ahead on the terminal and use the command the harvester and okay. 
and it will run so you can see that all of these things and make sure that you go through all of these things again and uh, because it's very useful and it will give you much more knowledge rather than just copying my thing over here and uh, pasting it on, on the on your terminal so it's very much important that you go through all of these commands and what it does because i would be using them today and just in case it is not available for your distribution that means if you're not using cal linux you can easily download it from we have under i'll just go ahead and open my google chrome and let me check if my google is still working yep so you can just go to http and i'll type code dot google dot com slash p slash the harvester um, let me check okay so here we have the in the git hub the latest resources available uh, so it shows you what it all does that means passive discovery virtual host bing that's the pinging server ho server host and the active directory that is the, the dns brute force dns reverse lookup and dns tdl expansion and tld directory brute force enumeration as well which is quite important so now we know how this work exact what this what does this thing do we will first go ahead and implement these things on a cal linux on our any normal web page and then we will see how it works exactly 